What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add a default profile pic to our app with Flask and Python. I guess like I said, in this video, we're going to add a default profile pic. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. And if you haven't seen the announcement yet, we're tripling the price of that in the new year. So if you want that $49 price, take advantage of it now while you still can. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to add a default profile pic. And the reason why we're starting with a default profile is because sometimes people just won't upload a file or they'll do it later. So we want something there by default until they do that. Now, we haven't actually set up the system where they can upload a profile pic yet. We're going to do that next. But I thought we'd start here with the default because it's easier and that gives us sort of a base to start from when we work on actually uploading a real profile picture. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Flask playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check it out if you haven't so far. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, at least for now, and we may change this around a little bit later, but in our static folder, we've got this images folder, and we've already got a picture that we've been playing with for some other video way back at the beginning of this series. I wanna also put the default picture, the default profile picture in there, and then we'll just reference it from there for now. And like I said, we may change this around going forward. And this is the default picture I'm going to use. Uh, we open this in a new browser. It's a 200 by 200 PNG file. I've named it default underscore profile underscore pic dot PNG. You can use JPEG, anything you want. PNG is sort of standard. And I think I just made this in Photoshop or found it free somewhere online. Any sort of default profile picture you want to use is fine. But this is sort of a generic, you know, you see things like this all over the place when people don't have a profile picture. So that's what we're going to be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a Windows Explorer and I've navigated to our C Flasker directory and I'm going to click on static and then images. And here's that picture that we have from a past video. And I'm just going to off screen. I've got that profile pic saved in another directory. I'm just going to drag it over here and drop it. And there it is. So we can go ahead and close this. So now if we head back over to Sublime, you can see, boop, there it is, popped right in there. So, all right, that's cool. So now let's head over to our templates dashboard page. And let's just sort of add this in here by default. I want to put it over here on the right side. That looks kind of nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So head back over here and let's look at our dashboard section. Here it says, welcome to your user dashboard. Here's all the stuff. Here's the buttons. I think below the buttons, we want to put this image. So this is just a IMG SRC tag. And this is just basic HTML. And now we just want to point to that default image. And this is how we're going to do this for now. Eventually, we'll use some logic in here that'll say, hey, if they don't have their own profile picture, use the default. But right now, we haven't set up that whole system yet. So we're just going to put it in there for everybody. So here, we're going to use the URL underscore for tag, and we want to point this to static. And we want the file name to equal. If we come back up here and click on this again, it's images slash, and then whatever we named this. So I'm going to click rename and just copy this and then escape out of here and then paste that in. Okay, that looks Good, let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and hit reload. And there we see this image and that doesn't look great, <laughs> right? So we wanna play around with this. I wanna put this over here. So we're gonna use a little bit of bootstrap for that. So let's come up here to the top and underneath where it says welcome, we've got this card text stuff. Inside of here, let's create some divs. So I wanna go div class equals container. And this is just pure bootstrap. This is how you move things around using bootstrap. You've got a whole course on bootstrap at codemy.com if you want to learn more about this sort of thing. And inside of here, we want to go div class equals row. And then inside of here, we want to go div class equals call dash eight. And this will give us a column of size eight, right? So we want all of this stuff right here to take up most of the space. We want it to, you know, go that way. And then at the end, we just want a little bit for the profile picture. So, okay, that looks good there. Now, we need to close that. 
And maybe I'll bop this over just so it doesn't look so silly, right? So now all of this stuff is sort of technically in this div, uh, even though it's not really indented, but okay. And the buttons too. So then we want to close that div, right? And then we want another div with a class equals call dash four. So the other one was call dash eight because it's, you know, eight. This one is four because it's smaller. And inside of here, we just want this image. So I'll just paste that in and then close that div. Now we also want to close the row div and the big container div. It doesn't look great, but whatever, that should work. So now we can also change the width of this. So if we want to say this width equals, I don't know, 50 or something, make it real small, we could do that. So come back over here and hit reload, see if that worked. Boom, it pops it up over there. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's a little bit too small. Maybe, uh, I don't know, let's make it 150. Save this, come back, hit refresh. Boom, that's bigger. Now I want to push this all the way over so we can align that if we want. Uh, just in the image itself, we can just go align equals right. So save this, head back, refresh, boom, now it bops it over. So I, I'm kind of like welcome to your user dashboard. I don't think we really need that. So I'm going to take that out too. Just, uh, you know, doesn't really serve any purpose, right? So if we save this, come back, hit refresh, boom good. So you see there's a bit of space here and there's not as much here. So I'm just going to add a couple of little line breaks. Not a great way to do that, but it'll work. So I'm just going to come down here where the buttons are and add a line break or two. Come back over here, hit refresh, boom. Now there's some more space there. I think that kind of looks better. And this is 150. You could do the whole 200 if you wanted to, you know. Uh, you can put it at 200 or just leave it as nothing and it'll do its default size. So that's, you know, quite big. Maybe you like that. Maybe you don't. Whatever. I'll just leave that to you. And okay, we're coming right along. So now we've got a default picture. Everybody has this now. And, uh, you know, in the next couple of videos, we'll start to work on uploading an actual profile picture. Probably maybe not in the next one, but the one in the video after that. And uh, yeah. That'll be fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com. We can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.